Hi everyone, I'm delighted to tell you about a new feature that's coming out by the one and only the inimitable Mr. Carlo Bath and I'm delighted to have been cast in it playing Mr. James Clegg. If you're a fan of Carlo Bath's work you'll already know what brilliant features he makes. Um, this one is called uh, Don't Open the Door uh, and I can already feel the uh, tingly senses going up and down my spine. Uh, it's going to be amazing. It's got a stellar cast. Um, Carlo always gets together a brilliant crew and production people. So this is definitely one to watch. Please follow the Facebook page, Twitter and uh, Instagram. Although I don't know whether Carlo likes Twitter anymore. I don't know. Um, so the purpose of this video is to let you know that independent film in the UK is flying. Um, but as always, it struggles with funding and financing. So if you are a fan of this thriller, horror, um, suspense genre, if you're a fan of uh, Carlos or you don't know him, check him out. Um, and if you're a fan of independent film and you want to see it progress, because remember, without independent film, none of the big films get made. Um, this is really the grassroots of um, the bigger stuff that we watch on the big screen. So uh, if you are a fan of all those things, then please think about funding us and helping us on Indiegogo. Now, it doesn't need to be hundreds of pounds, doesn't need to be thousands. It would be great if it could be, but even if it's a couple of quid, it all helps um, there. So please share this video with your friends. Um, get on board with us. Um, it's literally, we're in uh, the script and uh, pre-production phase. Uh, Carlo is a phenomenal writer of dialogue and story. So you're in for a real uh, treat. And the team that he pulls together is just uh, incredible. Check out his production company. Also check out the cast. Uh, it's a stellar cast and I can't wait to work with them. Um, some brilliant people on there. So uh, fans of horror, suspense, thriller, get on board with this. Uh, Indiegogo, the link is somewhere uh, close to this video and please give what you can. Support independent film because it is the future. Thanks very much for watching everyone and look forward to uh, seeing you. Hey, you never know. I'm sure that for people that uh, support, there will be some amazing perks. So we might even get to see you at the premiere. Uh, in the meantime, remember, don't open the door. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Jasna Anderson and I'll be taking on the role of Anna in Don't Open the Door. It's an exciting time for me as an actor to be part of this film and to watch its journey unfold. It's one thing to have a script in front of you, but to see that storyline and those characters come to life, ultimately to have a full length feature film at the end of it is an amazing process and we would love you to be part of that journey. So please, check out our Indiegogo page. There's a lot of perks on there that you can purchase, whether that be a shout out on social media or to be part of the film itself. We very much would appreciate any donation, no matter how small it is. So from all of us here at Filmit VFX Studios, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Hello everybody. My name is Gillian Broderick and I have the honour of being cast as Meg, the blind psychic in Don't Open the Door, Carlo's second supernatural psychological horror um, set in the 1980s. I feel very privileged that I've been cast as Meg and I am the grandmother of Felix and Felix is going to be um, it is is like my guide in the film. So whenever I'm sort of, or we're investigating together, he leads me. Uh, and what I love about this role is because I'm going to have actually uh, white contact lenses in, so I won't be able to see, is that in this case, you know, the sense of character, she's going to create um, an awareness of using all her other senses, like the sound and the, the touch in particular, um, just an object she touches so I think it's really thrilling and I'm very pleased and honoured. So we would love to also film in a house that is um, ideally already set up as a 1980s very unassuming semi-detached house or anything like that. It's not going to be a big spooky horror. Um, I think Carla's 
hit the nail on the head here. I love a good psychological supernatural thriller and um, yeah so take a look at the at the Indiegogo funding and see if you can just donate one pound would be absolutely fine. Everything that you can would just really help help us get this film project up and running. Hi, my name is Tommy and I'm going to be playing Max in Don't Open the Door and it's a really exciting project and I can't wait to start filming.